Hello, welcome to Learning Every Day with me, Lisa Aaron. This channel will benefit teachers, homeschoolers, and students. I'm here to help you learn. I have broken down the basic coursework. I encourage all learners to take the challenge to learn with me. Begin by taking your time. And if you need to review anything, simply go back and watch the lesson again. As you watch, I think you will be amazed at how much you will understand through pictures and examples. Join our learning circle and subscribe. Today we're going to be learning about point of view. The point of view an author chooses can determine how the reader understands and participates in a story. The narrator's relationship to the story is determined by point of view. Point of view can tell a story making it understandable and believable. First person offers a connection to the character's mindset, emotional state. This perspective can share something private. Third person limited is like having someone look over the character's shoulder. It can call out the character's biases and perspective the character doesn't know he or she has. In this lesson, we're going to be reviewing all the types of point of view from literature. This is really important because point of view keeps the story going. With no point of view, the story wouldn't be told. Point of view the perspective eyes the story is told from. Understanding point of view clarifies the story and involves the reader. The point of view expresses feelings, thoughts, motivations, and experiences. It is vital to maintain a somewhat consistent point of view throughout a story, otherwise the writing can be confusing. I'm going to briefly show you the types of point of view and then we're going to be reviewing them. First person point of view, the main character. First person peripheral point of view, not the main character. Second person point of view, the narrator is talking to the reader directly. Third person point of view, narrator talking about the characters. Objective third person point of view. Third person omniscient point of view. Third person limited point of view. We're going to be going and learning about each of these. This will improve your writing because you have to determine how you're going to write your story, whose perspective you're going to write it from. What is a narrator? A narrator is a person who tells the story. The author is different than the narrator. The author writes the story. The narrator tells the story. All narrators tell about the action. First person narrator. This is where the narrator is the main character in the story. They are speaking as an eyewitness and participate in the events while speaking about himself or herself. The narrator does not know what the characters are thinking and feeling. First person narrator. First person is used in poetry, autobiography, or novels from a fictional character. You can tell if it's first person when it uses the pronouns I, my, me, myself, we, us, and mine. You will be able to tell if it's first person narrator if you can answer these questions. First person narrator. Number one, is the story told in first person? Two, is the main character telling the story or are another character telling it? Three, is the narrator speaking as an eyewitness as well as a participant in the events? Four, do we learn about the other characters only through what the narrator sees and what the narrator and characters tell the narrator? Advantage of first person point of view. You can immediately connect with the reader. Using this point of view, you can think about what has happened. Disadvantages of first person point of view. Using first person point of view limits the view of other characters, such as the protagonist's motivations. It offers only one perspective. First person point of view. The perspective eyes of the story is the narrator, who is the main character in the story. I wonder if they're having bacon. This character, you can hear his thoughts. He is the main character in first person point of view. And it uses the pronoun I. Look for first person pronouns. I, my, me, we, us, myself. These are all referring to the character himself or herself. Point of view. This is another type point of view. First person peripheral. 
This is where the narrator is not central to the plot of the story and tells the story from their perspective. It uses the pronoun I, me, myself, we, us, and mine. First person peripheral. Number one, is the story told in first person peripheral? Two, is a non-essential character telling the story? Three, is the narrator speaking as an eyewitness rather than a participant in the events? Four, do we learn about the other characters only through what the narrator sees and what the other characters tell the narrator? Point of view, second person narrator. The narrator is speaking directly to the reader. This is when the narrator is distant from the plot and tells the story from your perspective. This is used for directions, business writing, technical writing, song lyrics, speeches, and advertising. It uses the pronouns you and yours. It's speaking from your perspective. You'll be able to tell second person narrator by answering these questions. Number one, is the story told in second person? Two, is the narrator speaking to the reader? Three, is the narrator speaking as an eyewitness as well as a participant in the events? Four, do we learn about the other characters only through what the narrator's perspective of other characters? Advantage of second person point of view. You bring the reader into the action immediately. They are completely immersed in the world of the story. Disadvantages of second person point of view. It is the hardest point of view to write effectively with consistency. Second person point of view. The perspectivized the story is from the narrator at a distance, speaking directly to the reader as the action is driven by the character. You can see the viewpoint of the narrator. The light shines on the character. That's the narrator's point of view. Second person point of view example. You ride your horse gripping the reins tightly while bouncing up and down as the horse trots towards home. The narrator is describing the action that's happening to the character. This is second person point of view. It uses pronouns like you, your. Look for second person pronouns, you and yours. It will tell you it's second person point of view if you see pronouns like you and yours. Point of view, objective third person point of view. The narrator reports the events that take place without knowing the motivations or thoughts of any of the characters. We only know what is happening when we hear the characters speak or observe their actions. There is no opinions, no commentary, or knowledge outside the scene. You will know its objective third person point of view if you can answer these questions. Number one. Is what we learn about the story only by what we see and hear as eyewitnesses? Two, are we restricted to only hearing dialogue and seeing actions and settings? Three, can we listen in on the character's thoughts? Advantages of third person point of view. The author can write from a broader perspective by following multiple characters. Disadvantages of third person point of view. It can be difficult to establish connection with the reader. This is an example of third person objective point of view. The perspectivize of the story is from the narrator only by the actions and words of the characters. The children were playing in the park around two o'clock in the sunny afternoon. They were playing tag, jump rope, or swinging on the swing set. You need to look for pronouns like they. Look for third person pronouns. He, she, it, they, his, her, their. Point of view. Third person omniscient point of view. The narrator knows every character's thoughts, feelings, and motivations, even if the character doesn't reveal any of those things to the other characters. The narrator sees all and knows all situations like a god's like view. The narrator has no biases or preferences, uses the pronouns she, he, they, and it. You will know that it's third person point of view if you can answer these questions. Number one, do we know what the character is thinking? Two, does the narrator tell us how the character feels? Three, 
Does the narrator tell what the character's ideas are before he or she tells anyone else? 4. Is the story told in third person? Advantages of third person omniscient. It allows the reader to know what multiple characters are thinking, useful in fantasy and science fiction, as it allows for better world building, can skip forward or back in time with ease, can dispense information that no character knows. Disadvantages of third person omniscient. Writers can accidentally slip into third person limited. Writers don't use the full scope of omniscient. Gives the reader a distant perspective. Here we have third person omniscient point of view. It's a godlike view. The narrator sees all and knows all. The perspective eyes of the story is from the narrator, all knowing of thoughts, feelings, motivations of all characters. Example of third person omniscient. Annie was settled and comfortable at the campsite fire while she carefully roasted her hot dog. The other campers were out hiking, enjoying the fresh air without caring about their office jobs. Pronoun she, her, their. Point of view, third person limited or subjective point of view. The reader becomes the eyewitness observer and can only see and hear to learn what is audible to what the others say about the character and situations and does not know the motivations, thoughts, or feelings of all the characters. This point of view is limited to only the character being followed. This point of view puts the reader in a position of eavesdropper on the scene, uses the pronouns he, she, it, or they. You'll know it's third person, limited, or subjective point of view if you can answer these questions. Number one, has the author selected one character through whose eyes the story will be told? Two, is the story told in third person? Three, does the author tell us about the other characters only through their actions, dialogue, physical descriptions? Four, can we only overhear the thinking of the character through whom the story is being told? Advantage of third person limited. Adaptable to multiple viewpoints. The writer is able to add suspense because the reader is limited to knowing the point of view of the, the character knows. Disadvantages of third person limited. If you're not careful, you can shift perspectives, making things confusing. It is more difficult for the reader to bond with the point of view character. Third person limited or subjective point of view. The perspective eyes, the story is from the narrator, only knowing the actions of one character. The narrator does not know the thoughts, feelings, and motivations of other characters. Third person, limited or subjective. Example, he had enough of Billy's name calling and bullying him all day long. When school let out, he fought with Billy after school. Need to look for pronouns, he, him, he. Reviewing first, second, and third person point of view. First person point of view uses pronouns I, my, we, are, me, and us. The narrator speaks about himself or herself. The narrator is usually the main character. I was upset. I felt nervous. In second person point of view uses pronouns you and yours. The narrator speaks directly to the reader. This is not used often. You were upset. You felt nervous. Third person point of view. Uses pronouns like he, she, it, they, his, her, and their. The narrator watches the story, but is not in the story. The narrator speaks about other characters, but not himself. He looked upset. He seemed nervous. When you begin to write, you need to think about the point of view you're going to write from. Which point of view should I choose? Write the first page of your story from all three points of view, then answer these questions. Number one, which one feels the most natural to the story? Two, which gives you the most creative power? Three, which tells the story best? Four, which point of view was quickest to write from? The point of view you choose to write from will add to the reader's understanding of the story. 
The point of view you choose can add suspense depending on how you choose to write. I hope you enjoyed learning about point of view. If it was helpful, please subscribe. It will help you writing in the future. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful. Hope to see you in other lessons from Learning Every Day with me, Lisa Aaron.